Airborne Laser has demonstrated all of the key technologies needed to bring a new generation of weaponry to warfighters. After more than 500 flight hours, including sorties at full payload weight, the plane returned to Edwards Air Force Base in order to complete the installation of the ground-proven high-power laser and the complete beam control fire control system. Where we are in the program uh, depends a lot based on uh, what we've done to date. And so uh, about 16 months ago, we finished a phase of flight testing that was very successful. In this flight phase, ABL illuminated and tracked a distant target, a simulated missile inscribed on the fuselage of an aircraft, achieving a tracking solution and precise aim point with the track illuminator laser. Simultaneously, the beacon illuminator laser measures the wavefront distortion caused by the intervening atmosphere. Corrections applied to the high power beam optics mean that in an actual engagement, more than lethal energy would be deposited on the target. Had the high power laser been on board, a missile threat would have been stopped cold, suffering catastrophic damage. Upon completion of the low power beam control tests, the most recent phase of ABL weapon system integration was begun. And at that point, the aircraft, the YAL-1A airborne laser, came back here into the hangar at Edwards Air Force Base, and we began to integrate the complete weapon system. In addition to integrating all of those pieces and parts, we have brought to life the laser, the complete weapon system, and we're really excited as a combined government industry team to get the aircraft out of the hangar and get it back up in the air where it belongs. We'll be firing the laser in flight at a variety of targets, boosted targets, and it will culminate in a uh, system demonstration against an actual uh, foreign asset. And so uh, we're very excited. We're about to fulfill the promise of this revolutionary weapon system technology. It's gonna be a good time. Once installed on the aircraft, the high power coil laser is readied for historic first light testing. Reactants are loaded and final checks made of the laser modules. Mission specialists monitor the process on the ground, but this first lasing test will be fired from the mission control suite on board the aircraft, the weapon system's nerve center during flight operations. The hangar is made secure and the aircraft closed up. With everything in readiness, the laser is fired. Three, two, one, fire. Firing. Laser out. On its very first shot, it achieves one of its decisive program milestones, successfully delivering a lethal high power beam. Then, after repeated high power lasing tests, another historic success marks the closing weeks of 2008, the first propagation of the high power laser beam through the complete optical system. Once again, the system will be operated from the aircraft's mission control suite. In this case, the high power beam will be projected to the nose of the plane where it will be conditioned by the final optics and focused for firing out of the beam director's conformal window, the actual muzzle of this revolutionary and game-changing weapon system. The track and beacon illuminator lasers are engaged. With the system tracking a simulated target, Mission specialists fire the megawatt-class laser all the way through the beam control system. This successful firing means that key elements of ABL have come together into a complete weapon system, fast approaching final flight configuration, leading to a near-term return to flight and engagement with actual missile targets. We're really excited to get the aircraft back in the air. Um, this has been a long time coming to get to this phase of the program, and there have been literally thousands of people who have had uh, a part in putting this, this weapon system together uh, to get where we are today. And it, this, this is it. I mean, the, the excitement is palpable on the program. We know we're on the verge of something special. Uh, every time we go up, and fly and do a flight test. 
it will be a first of some kind. Uh, there is no other airborne laser aircraft. The technology that we're employing has never been employed before in a, in a flight platform. ABL's speed of light directed energy weapon gives it great advantages over conventional systems, countering the missile threat during its vulnerable boost phase and providing track information and cueing to other missile defense elements. It requires no permanent ground installations and is a force multiplier for the entire ballistic missile defense system. ABL is on the verge of ushering in a new era in missile defense. So uh, this is it. it. It doesn't get be any better than this. This, uh, this is a dream come true uh, and it's going to be an exciting time in 2009. Defense at the speed of light is just around the corner.